The following podcast may contain spoilers, strong language, graphic violence, and nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. The Old Express bust to hell. No lines, no wait. Four guys and a movie. Four guys and a movie. Don't I try and rob at your reviewing movies for the show. Four guys and a movie. Hello everyone and welcome once again. It's 4am and that means it's time for the 4am podcast where me and my friends watch movies from our past and see how they hold up to our older, more cynical selves. I'm your ghost as always, Tony. Joining me today is... Brian. And... Yeah, I'm the chocolate starfish. Arch nemesis of Cat Piss Man. (laughs) (laughs) Oh god. We'll have action I, figures coming to a Toys R Us near you before they all close. These, I, these will be next to neighbors, <laughs> and they'll fall out. I really. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you choke on your hot dog flavored water. Wow. All right. So, death is no way to make a living, and there's no rest for the wicked because when your time, when your number's up, it's up. We watched the Frighteners from 1996 and other Guns N' Roses song titles. <laughs> yeah. Also known as the incredible soul-distracting cases in Hong Kong. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, you mean in people. Hong Kong it's known as that. I was like, yeah. there's a title somewhere that said it's the soul-distracting cases in Hong Kong. Yes, this took place like, They're in not even in Hong, Hong, Hong Kong. Kong at all. Uh, it's directed by Peter Jackson from Meet the Feebles, Dead Alive, of course, King Kong, as we know from this. Dead Alive, that's all with Joe Piscopo? No. Okay. That's, uh... Shit, what? something. Oh, I He's, can't remember the name of that. Yeah, the cop that died. I know what you're talking about, but okay. that's not this. <laughs> Isn't that like is that body parts or? I can't. Oh. I know this movie. Where <laughs> Joe Piscopo dies. That and is not the life. Yeah, it's dead is in the title, but I can't. I can't. Is it dead again, it's like that. Or? Be dead again. Oh, no. Anyway, let's not get caught up on that. It's on the oh. list. <laughs> Nobody can tell what the title is. I don't think it's on the list. <laughs> But, uh, of course, Peter Jackson, also known for Lord of the Rings and The Hobbits. Hobbits. Uh, so, Brian, what is your personal history with this movie? So, this came out what year? 1996. I didn't see this until probably 90... Oh. 99? Is it Dead Heat? Dead Heat. Dead oh, heat. shit. Dead heat. I didn't even get it on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> it hit me. It was uh, 90, 99. So remember, um, I had made some friends at UConn, not Joe in that group, um, that were like really into this movie, and they made me watch it. Cause I told them I'd never seen it before, and uh, I remember like enjoying it when I saw it then. Okay, that's what I remember. <laughs> All right, Rob. <Rob's> <laughs> um, I don't remember the first time I saw this. Maybe in theaters? No, I don't think so. Okay, I I honestly don't remember. Like, the only time I remember watching this is fairly recently. Okay. But I know I've seen it before that. Yeah, that's uh, that's as far as I can tell you. I know. I believe this is one that I picked out from like a blockbuster video or something. Okay. Because we kept walking by the cover, which had like that hologram. So the face kind of came out of the yeah. wall. <laughs> yeah. Like, and I was like. Like Jack Frost. All right. You got me. You got me. I got, I'm going to try and run this and see what happens. The effect is like <laughs> always freaky to me. Yeah. yeah. Like today it wasn't. <laughs> I, I had that effect on my copy of the lost world jurassic park not quite the same all right i've been outvoted <laughs> so <laughs> woo! uh brief history of this movie uh it was originally going to be an episode of tales from the crypt woo! but robert zemeckis liked it so much that he wanted to make a full-fledged movie out of it okay all right oh um, i want to dip my balls in it it would have been funny if the Crypt Keeper was in one of those caskets in the movie. <laughs> they wouldn't, yeah, why didn't they? That would have been funny. Mm, added money? I don't know. But um, the this... film was not released in Tasmania because it was a little too close to the Port Arthur massacres that had occurred just uh, like months beforehand. Uh, Tom Cruise and Matthew Broderick were thought as backups if Michael J. Fox didn't take the role. Huh? Huh? Wow. That's something. What? Uh, what? What? What was? What movie was it? Was Was Godzilla out when? When this was? I believe Godzilla came out this year. What, what, year? what year was this? Ninety six. No, Godzilla was ninety nine. Oh, is ninety nine? 
Was it that late? No, because 99 was when Godzilla 2000 came out. Okay, Maybe so 98? 98, yeah, 98. Okay, I knew it was around that time. But uh, but Michael J. Fox was the, the one they wanted from the very beginning. I dug worms out of the ground because they grow big in Chernobyl. All right. It's uh, Godzilla. Michael J. Fox a, a few times ended up blowing the scene when he accidentally called the judge Doc numerous times. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I guess he was just kind of falling into old habits there. Um, <laughs> or he was making a statement about how Christopher Lloyd looks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's <laughs> rough. Um, but this also was uh, what made Michael J. Fox decide he needed to spend more time with his family. So this was his last leading role. So he went on to TV doing Spin City. And that's pretty much it. Okay. All right. So anyone want to guess at the budget this movie had? Well, $45 million. All right. Let's see. Peter Jackson, that means it's about an hour and a half longer than it needed to be. So I'm going to say... There's a lot of CG in this movie. Mm-hmm. A lot of really bad CG in this mm-hmm. movie. I'm going to go with 30 million. Fred, you both lose. It was 26 million. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I don't want to guess at how much money this movie made. $40 million. I'm going to say 60. 29 million. Cool. Okay. Yeah. This is why I was, I felt cool. Uh, I felt that I was correct in my recollection that we did not see this in the theaters. This was a rental because I think that's how most of the world saw this movie. Okay. But anyway, uh, where'd that money go, Brian? Who, who's in this? Well, we got Michael J. Fox as Frank Bannister. This will be his first time on the podcast, right? I believe so. Yeah. 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 We got uh, Trini, uh, uh, what was it, Alvar- Alvarado as Dr. Lucy. Just call her pseudo Andy McDowell. <laughs> yeah, she looks like, like, yeah. like Andy McDowell for real. <laughs> oh, we got uh, Chai McBride, Cyrus, uh, Jim Fry. Jim Fife, sorry, Jim Fife is Stewart. Jake Busey is Johnny Bartlett. Uh, you got John Aston as the, as the judge. Peter Dobson, Peter Dobson as Ray Linsky. Which one was Ray? The douche guy that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's yeah, the husband? Guy. Yeah, the husband guy. <laughs> and you got uh, D. Wallace as Patricia Ann Bradley. Do you need some water, <coughs> Tony? What? Why is there that number on your forehead? I'm dying. It looks like you <coughs> asked for a thirteen. <laughs> But they drew a 31. Can I have your stuff? Do you die? Do you have stuff? I don't really, but you can have it. <laughs> Just so you know. I'm a solid artwork. You make millions. <laughs> rum, rum, and Coke. rum and Coke is not the same as water. <laughs> I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I did the job. So. You're still coughing. It obviously did not do the job. <laughs> um. So anyway, where we're um yeah, and uh welcome back to the show D Wallace, who uh of course is famously the mother from E. T. but also the mother from Critters. A previous episode. She was? Yeah. And who was she? Patricia she, Bradley. She was the uh the the woman the well, co conspirator. Oh. Oh. Yeah. She was the mother from E. T. Oh. She was the mother from Critters? Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I... <coughs> Tony, get some water. I like how you give a bottle of water in front of you. <laughs> you give it to him, <laughs> I've been drinking out of this. Oh, I mean, what the hell does that mean? I don't know. I've known you for a long ass time. Would you drink out of this bottle? No, of course not. You have cooties. All right, then. But so does Tony. So I mean, like, I don't see them. It's different cooties. Oh, hi, Tony. Different kind of cooties. Okay. So I hope you all enjoyed this behind the scenes glimpse. 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 <laughs> talking about. Behind the scenes glimpse. Glimpse. Behind the some. It's a glimpse, all right. Behind the ch- chunks glimpse. Oh God. Brian, so you're lucky that we don't share containers, okay? Because I just want to take a huge gulp out of your orange soda. <laughs> oh, it has caffeine, doesn't it? I don't. Yeah, I think the. I oh, think yeah, the one has caffeine. Oh, for it sure. Does. Oh, damn. Yeah. Anyway. Gotta get that orange slice. Yeah, no, no, don't. So, for uh, the movie, however, that we watched, yep, uh, we start out in an old house. Creepy ass house. We get some elfman droppings. We. <laughs> <laughs> the scraps that fell off the it's, it's like, <laughs> he, just, he just handed uh, Peter Jackson, he was like, Tenny, can you give us a, a school for the film? 
And he's like, yeah. What the fuck was that? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> My brain's still in making fun of the Australian accent. It's having a hard time kicking over to New Zealand. I, I thought maybe you thought Peter Jackson's part of the Flight of the Concords. It's basically, he is, right? I mean, just, it's just a bunch of hobbits and crap running around. Are you still, still mad about, about the, the movie not being real? No. The, the Dundee? No, the episode's over. I'm over it. Okay. Um, so. <laughs> and has that ever applied? Every episode. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Danny Elfman's just like, all right, here's a bag of ends and pieces. You can arrange them as you wish. It might be. Um, from what I read, I guess Danny Elfman was a, a big fan of Heavenly Creatures, which was also done by Peter Jackson. A, a porn? No. Uh, but uh, to the point where he was like, I'll do your next movie, sight unseen. So he might have just gotten, like, you know, like, here's a script, do some music for it. And it's like, uh, fucking uh, this, here, whatever. Did he do Beetlejuice music? Danny Elfman? Yeah. Yes, he did. Anything Tim Burton is probably Danny Elfman. Okay. Yeah, I think Peter Jackson just called Danny Elfman on the phone. He's like, Danny, this is Tim he Burton. Last time. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Try again. All right, all right. How do you get to Carnegie Hall? <laughs> oh, my bad. This is, my bad. This my is bad. Tim Burton. <laughs> Not doing this. <laughs> Got a movie. Just don't, don't meet me. <laughs> Just send it in the mail. Uh. <laughs> All right. Well, so, in the scary house, we get a carpet monster that's uh, attacking this girl. Uh, this old woman's quite upset. She's trying to fight it off with a shotgun. This carpet monster's kind of bat at her like a cat. Carpet <laughs> monster. <laughs> what? I don't know what to like, call it. All right. So, I'm going to spoil this right now. <laughs> like, like, I'm to the end of this movie. Is that really what's happening in this scene right now? No. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> Absolutely oh, not. Anyway, sorry. So, yeah, this woman is being accosted by this cartoon. It's, it's like, worse looking than the magic carpet from Aladdin. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks it's, like, like, less realistic. Hold on, I got this. Yeah, please. It looks like the bottle of purple soda that they wrote on in Food Fight. <laughs> oh no, no, so- no, no, no. The no, soda no, spit no. out? No. The Brian, soda no, spit out? Like the, not... the, the liquid soda spit out? That's the same kind of liquid motion at least. I don't the, remember the, that at all, but no, I, I can't is, it disagree. Is not that bad. It is not that bad. Yeah. It's pretty bad. It's bad, but it's not that bad. It is bad, yeah. We're 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 borderline like we're just a hair above lawnmower man with this. Like, but it's not food fight bad. The problem that I have it's not necessarily the polygons, it's the textures on everything. Oh, they don't blend? Yeah, they don't blend. They're all, like, really just brown and dark and, like, just... It just all looks like mud. Yeah. There's just a bunch of mud floating around. Um, but they smartly mostly made this to kind of just be, like, mud. My name is Mud. Yes. Burl, 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 burl. <laughs> my name is... Uh, but no, like... All my friends are brown and red. Different song, but I like it. Yeah, we're not talking about Spoon Man. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, it, it's attacking, quote unquote, this girl. Uh, and this woman takes out a shotgun and just starts firing at it and presumably but just blowing up pieces of her house, I guess, and I, I, fence this thing off. I guess. Yeah. Doesn't it just kind of cut out there? Yeah, it, it kind of jumps scene. at her and we just cut away. I honestly, because of the way they cut, I thought she was the first one to die. We'll find out that's not true, but hey, whatever. Um, so uh, we then see that we're, we're at a funeral mm-hmm. for somebody. <clears throat> and, dead person. Uh, they did. Well, yeah, obviously a dead person. Um, well, we Michael, Michael J. Fox, Fox is there. there. Handing yeah. out business cards. Yes. Until someone, you know, shoves him away. Uh, and he, like, he's he's just trying to, you know, get his, his name out there, spread the word. But uh, it's not going so well. Uh, so, anyway, uh, Jesus, you guys are no help. See, the problem is, Brian is having what I would like to call a demon inside right now. He's having terrible thoughts, because there's a man in this film 
who is suffering Ugh. and is probably like the sweetest guy ever, which is why I contained myself. He's having Who a hard wants? time. Meanwhile, I'm trying to figure out if we can actually print business cards on these salted caramel cookie bars and whether or not that would actually be cost effective. Probably. I mean, it would be expensive. We, we'd eat them before we hand them out. Well, that's, yeah, that's the other problem. So, uh, anyway, <laughs> no one has anything to add. Um, he, Michael J. Fox's character, Frank, correct? Yeah, Frank. Uh, starts driving home. He seems to be, I don't know, drunk or something. He's driving wildly for some reason. Ends up smashing his car onto this lawn near in one of the nearby houses, uh, running over the fence and some uh, some garden gnomes. Everyone listening, Michael J. Fox has Parkinson's. <laughs> uh, can we can we move on now? <laughs> I'm not always a bad person. I'm not. You're worse than me this week. I'm I don't know what the deal is. Person, I swear. Is it the orange soda? Maybe that's what, I don't know what it is. See, I I'm gonna say it right now. I don't think he has Parkinson's. I think he he sees dead people, and that's why. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I'm better now. Yeah, because Tony just took your place as the worst person in the room. How is that worse? <laughs> I'm just saying. Orange soda. You're my only friend. <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe he, he actually can see dead people. Anyway. Mm, I love orange soda. Oh, God. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> Doritos should sponsor us. They really should. Mm. Another tangent. Did you guys see those commercials for that GoPuff service? No. What? It's like a delivery service. That just brings you snacks. Okay. Okay. That's it. You just you sell them what snacks you want, and they go get your snacks and bring them to you. That's dope. In like 15 minutes or something. That's real dope. They should sponsor us, is what I'm saying. They should sponsor us. Uber Eats should sponsor us. <laughs> if you, any of you out there Postmates sponsor us. know about GoPuff, tell them. GoPuff? Seriously? GoPuff. Go puff yourself. <laughs> GoPuff should sponsor <laughs> us. Let's, we gotta, we gotta start, start small. Oh, sorry. We should probably get to this movie at some point, too. I, this movie doesn't does get to this movie at some point. No, that's, that's the thing. If this were the 420 podcast, they would definitely sponsor us. But anyway. I'm blazing this caramel bar all over my microphone. Why do people listen? So, he crashes into the fence. The guy comes out. This guy's name is Ray. Looks like an Elvis wannabe. He actually played Elvis in Forrest Gump. Okay. Wow. Um, it's true. So, we have a meet douche moment. Yeah. <laughs> he, he meets this guy like this guy's flipping out about you know he's like oh my lawn we're not in the fence I'm gonna sue you and he's just like yeah calm down I'll pay for it the guy's like freaking the fuck out but he won't pay for it no it's like they're fighting for who's the bigger douche well we don't know that <laughs> yet right now Frank seems like the better guy cause he's just like I'll pay for it don't worry about it here's my card I'll take care of it he does have a plan to dick him over but we don't know that yet uh, but this guy is just a complete asshole about it, and he's screaming about, you know, I have your license number, and yada yada, whatever. So, he drives off. Uh, we see, um, the, uh, what, what are we calling her? Annie McDowell's? Lucy. Lucy's, Lucy's fine. Okay. No, but she looks like, like, like Annie McDowell, like, for real. She does. I thought it was her, like, legit. She does kind of look like Annie McDowell. Um, she makes a house call, because apparently the, uh, doctor that usually visits this family is attending the funeral that's going on, uh, and she's visiting um, this girl. It's the house from, 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 from the from beginning. The opening, yeah. 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 What is the girl's name again? Pat. Well, Patty. Patricia. Patty. Patricia. Patricia, okay. Right. Um, so she has to visit her to take care of her because she apparently never leads the house because her mother will not allow it. Well, she's basically under house arrest. Like, they said in the this video that she was uh, paroled on the grounds that she would, like, be house arrested. Oh, yeah, house yeah. yeah, whatever. Yeah, we we <laughs> find shortly after this that, uh, you know, the mother's like, you don't know who she is and whatever. So Lucy... Tells us right, immediately tells us who she is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Lucy gets this DVD that's all about the, the town or whatever, and the, the serial killer, uh, Charles Bartlett. Mm-hmm. Not uh, Charles Barkley, as we thought originally. I thought it was Charles Barkley for real. <laughs> I was thinking Charlie... Uh, 
Charlie Lee Ray kind of reminded me of him. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is either. Child's Play? Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. Chucky? You know when I saw Child's Play last? Yeah, his name is Chucky. All right. Chucky the doll. All right, well. Anyway, um, so he, uh, you know, he apparently went on a killing spree in this old uh, medical facility, whatever this was, like insane asylum or what? Just a hospital? Oh, whatever. No, something. But uh, and abandoned he something or other. Or oh, now it is. Like everything in this, yeah. yeah. I mean, in all fairness, if your town is known for a serial killer, are you moving there? I mean, are you moving out of there? Yes. <clears throat> Danzig might move in. Make the walls bleed blood. <laughs> <laughs> More blood. More blood. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, yeah, he killed. Thousands of years ago. Yeah. No, sorry. <laughs> With his crinkled hand. Uh, so, anyway, this guy killed Oh, people. chicken. <laughs> Big chicken. That's a different one entirely. <laughs> so but off it's track. hilarious. Right, so off track. Um, <laughs> so, he killed 12 people. She apparently may have assisted in some fashion. So she is under house arrest with her mother, um, and yeah, that's she, this, Lucy now knows that's what's going on with all this nonsense. They make it known pretty quickly that um, he was trying trying to beat the record of the last serial killer. He wants to be the well number one, most wanted, whatever. Yeah. So the last number was eleven, so they got twelve. So he he's in first place now, apparently. Woo! Yeah. Yay for him. Numbers are important to him. Oh yeah. Lucy just starts figuring all this out when suddenly the bed starts levitating. Things are floating around the room. Everything's going crazy. She's being haunted. Uh, so they well, call her. Well, you know, she has a card. Yeah. She happens to have one of Frank's cards she got at the funeral, or did, did it just show up? No, I'm pretty sure the ghosts, when they came to haunt the house, they just planted it on her. Yeah. Because that okay. seems to be how they roll. Yeah. So, um, yeah, she they find the card. She calls the number. Frank shows up. Uh, he's got some equipment. He's ready to take care of these evil specters. He's doing his little thing, his, you know, snake oil salesman. You know, it's going to cost a whole lot. Or we can, you know, just call a wash that I never never hit your fence. And, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Ray, the dude whose car, or the dude lawn. whose fen- lawn, yeah, he tore up earlier, is married to Lucy. Yeah. He shows up. And here's where we find out they've got a whole Dragonheart situation going on where Frank is actually in league with these ghosts. He sends them in. They cause a ruckus. And then he comes in and cleans up. Yeah. Uh, he's even got some weird little toaster thing that makes it look like he captured the ghosts and whatever. But it's all nonsense. Except as he's about to leave, he sees a number on Ray's forehead. Uh, 37? Th- 37, yeah. yeah. 37. Not that important. But um, there, there's a number. And he's like, that's weird. I don't know what's going on with that. But, you know, I did my job. The fence is taken care of. Now I got, I'm going to go home have a talk with these ghosts because they apparently ditched it before you know i got here to do my whole seancey thing they were spo- supposed to be still there messing with stuff it's supposed to be, I, i'm guessing he wants to put a bigger show on to make it yeah. seem like he, oh yeah you know well he, i think i think the main point is he wants them to be active when he shows up yeah yeah it's it's a lot more impressive if they're still you know spinning the bed against the wall or ceiling or whatever when that little toaster thing pops up if it drops and then it's like oh clearly they're gone now you know it's more impressive but uh so yeah he goes home he's he's yelling at them these ghosts are cartoon characters they really they sure are. are they like, sure are it's it's that CGI when they finally decided oh Look at what we can do with CGI. We can stretch it and do stupid things that look terrible. Let's do them all. Like, I feel like it's better, more suited for like the Haunted Mansion in Disney. Yeah, like is. this is Casper yeah. crap. Yes, is yeah, it, 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 yeah. yeah, it is Casper crap. Yeah, but you got like real actors playing these ghosts, and it just looks awful. Well, yeah, just from the base, they're, they're <laughs> cartoon characters. Because one of them's. A black dude from the seventies, right? With, with the afro and the you know, uh, like amazing suit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the other ones, I think, big ass lapels. He was like a fifties nerd or something. Was it? No, he lettered. He, he had a a, 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 a a letter jacket on. I thought. Oh, uh, he did, but I don't know. He seemed kind of nerdy. It so. was his boyfriend, though. So <laughs> 
He he was a mathlete, all right? You know, <laughs> that, that might actually have been it. Not in the 50s. <laughs> that no, would like, put him in a different era, but that could have been no, it. No, no, I mean, like, like, like he, uh, it might, may have been for, for academic something, yeah. other, not, not for, for not sports, because he, he wasn't very coordinated. No. no. He was he was definitely more nerdy, and they kept joking about what a dweeb he was. Uh, and then the other is the judge, who is like an old Texas shoot 'em up guy with his jaw falling off and whatever. I wanted more of that dog that showed up. Did you? There was a dog there. Just more dog shit. I saw that there was a dog. I just don't. I don't know yeah. that we necessarily needed you know, more. Terrifying it is to hear like like the the screams of the hounds uh, howling, and then you guys know what Supernatural? Okay, mm. never mind. Mm. Uh, but still, <laughs> like yeah. You, the dog could have had more of an active role because he's literally in this one scene and never seen never again. Seen yeah, but that's because the dog was like fully CG. They probably couldn't have him too much. Mm, I, don't, I don't know if he was always fully CG. He, for the little bit of time he spent, he a lot of them was CG because again, we're we're fucking cartoons and we got to do the you know you grab my tail, I'm gonna stretch out and then come to a screeching halt and snap back and whatever brother you know when i knew this movie was 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 ridiculous today when when uh two minutes in actually yes when when frank crashes the car mm-hmm. he gets out and goes blah, 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 blah. when he gets out of the car i'm like oh it's a cartoon like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like <laughs> yep yeah that's that's pretty good that's right when he just i'm like all right it's ridiculous yeah uh i probably was thinking about the same time it was cemented when we uh we grab the like the bug spray or whatever and sprays it in that uh, one dude's face which melts away for a moment and i'm just like okay this is this is just nonsense pretty much anything right. involving the ghosts like yeah anything which whatever that's fine um they're cartoons it becomes more of an issue later but we'll, we'll, we'll save that for now uh so yeah he's he's just dealing with these ghosts uh like i said the judge shows up Chasing the dog because it has his jaw, and he starts talking about how like he's he's getting older. Quit. Yeah, he might have to finally head off into that bright light in the sky or whatever. Like I guess just a graveyard. Yeah, well, all the ghosts are discontent because they feel like Frank is not treating them properly. Yeah, and so there's all this kerfuffle and discontent. Yeah, like you need to treat us better. You need to get us things, even though we can't really interact with them. Yeah, I'll it's like. Get- Bizarre motivations, I don't know. But uh, Frank obviously has more of a motivation because Frank's about to foreclose on his place, uh, this building that he's half built. Uh, so he's like, we got to up the scares. So let's, uh, you know, let's get really scary. And so they go to this rich person's house. Mm-hmm. And they're like, hey, let's uh, let's give them a good freak out. Let's, mm-hmm. let's mess with some babies. Yeah, let's mess with some babies. Babies like it. They were like in on it. Cause- Kids can see spirits, apparently. Yeah. I guess. D- uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I mean kids are like, thing. you know, kids are like connected in ways that we're not because their brains are more free and able to, to realize things that we, we yeah. have blocked out. But that they're also they stupid. So, I mean, I guess. Oh, yeah. The... So are you. So, like. Yeah. Which point? Yeah. I think that. Well, idea I'm stupid, was... so I don't really have a point. Uh, <laughs> 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 I think that I, the real idea here was like. Maybe these kids didn't know what these ghosts were saying, but they knew enough to be like, hey, you seem cool. If you want to float me around, I'm okay with that. Stupid babies need the most attention. They do. Um, so, yeah, they, they throw the babies around. The, the mother and the nanny freak out. Uh, they call Frank. He heads on over, but the, he's been outed as a fraud in the newspaper. So Here's what I don't get. Yeah. This lady saw her kids flying around the room. Mm-hmm. How the fuck do you fake that? Uh, it's not so much how you fake it, it's how much you deny it. She popped a couple of pills, drank a couple glasses of wine, and decided that that never happened. That, or, she's like, alright, I'm seriously haunted, but you're a fraud, so I'm gonna wait till the Ghostbusters can get here, and you can just go fuck off somewhere. And they just fire proton packs at my children. (laughs) They might slime them. No, they would put him in a, in a carriage and let him go wander around the streets while, on its own. That would be cool, too. Yeah, and then Peter works. McDickle would show up in a dress and steal them away. Who? I'm sorry, I was thinking of Kevin Spacey, not Peter oh, McDickle. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck. <laughs> oh. oh. But if... <laughs> uh, I lost the train of thought now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> All right, so... 
Anyway, or Frank's fa- desperate or for some money. Falcor. <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, so yeah, he, he's desperate for some money. He's looking for uh, something he can do, and he happens to notice this funeral procession that's going through the town because apparently another person has died. This seems to be a regular thing. Um, he's a real dick about it too, but he eventually he goes to the the uh, cemetery and he sees it's this girl Lucy and. Or I, I believe first he runs into Ray. Is that well? No, um, he doesn't see. Yeah, you know, he sees Lucy driving because he's he's out of his car now, walking around, and then Ray's running, chasing after 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 the, the procession, and runs into him. Literally runs into into him. Yeah, but Ray is a ghost, so he's like a ghost running down the sidewalk. Yeah. When all of a sudden Egon is sitting on a bench, steps on a little trap, and just sucks Ray. I into totally it. was thinking about that too. That would have been a much better end. No. Um, oh, I mean, maybe, but that's not what happens. Uh, yeah, so he runs into Ray. Uh, he's like, okay, you know what? I'll, I'll take you over. I'm going to go check out this funeral. We're going to see what's going on. Because he, he's just pestering him or whatever. So I think maybe he's more to show him that he is dead to try and hopefully give him some kind of closure. I don't know. But he takes him over there, uh, has a brief conversation with Lucy because she's... You know, I interacted with him before. She wants to know that everything is okay with Ray. And he's like, you know, well, let's uh, let's go out to dinner and we can talk a little more about this. So you pay. <laughs> Did he say that? No. Okay. <laughs> Probably, but no. So they go to this sweet ass restaurant where it's like it's like a Ren fair, but not like medieval times. You're not like watching a show. It's just every like everybody's dressed in period clothes and why go for if it's just no show? Because you still get to eat. Because you can eat anywhere. Food's probably better. It's probably yeah. not just a Cornish game hen and a yeah, flagon is, of Pepsi. Not, I'm not knocking medieval times, but medieval times is like a, come watch some guys on horses smack into each other while we give you shitty food. This is more like I a, never said it was shitty food, for the well, record. I will eat a Cornish game hen right here, right now. Whole. Whole. <laughs> Bones and all. Like a like a like an anaconda, anaconda. Yeah. <laughs> like it was John Voight, and then I'll vomit it up so I can eat it again. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, this seems like more. But you know, we can sit down, have a nice conversation, have some decent food. But you know, you got uh, somebody in like full armor giving you you refilling your water glass or whatever. Because why not? I'm down for that. No, all right. Anyway, while they're there, uh, Lucy's like trying to get some information from Ray. Yeah, like, apparently she's sixteen grand is missing out of their account, and she's not sure where the fuck it went. And Ray's a scumbag. He made a bad investment, didn't tell her. Yep, he invested it all in Paula Dean cookware. <laughs> <laughs> is this? Bef- Never mind. Um. So nope. <laughs> oh. So anyway, yeah, like she's just like trying to find out normal stuff, and like I don't know, uh, Frank's lying about what's what Ray is saying. Well, no, first he's 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 honest at first, S- sort of, yeah. Yeah, he, he says what 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 what, uh, what what Ray says, but once once Ray slip lets it slip that uh that um he he made a bad investment. He's like, don't don't tell her that. He's like, fuck that. I'm telling her. He tells her. Then he's like, fuck Ray. I'm so I'm trying I'm trying to hook up with with, with Lucy. <laughs> it was working for a hot second too. You know, Lucy lets us look how like their relationship wasn't all that great to begin with, and like uh, Ray's trying to guess things, telling him things that, that Lucy likes, and she says the opposite. Yeah. And so you're like, oh, they weren't quite the happy couple. No. Yeah. It's like, why didn't he ever look at me during? <laughs> <laughs> you see the Elvis statue all the time. <laughs> <laughs> And curl his lip. It was weird. <laughs> now he shout, uh huh, when he was done. Anyway, no, um, so. Just demand a peanut butter and <laughs> banana sandwich. That's. I'm, I'm, I just, nope. <laughs> it's not gonna do it. Uh, so, anyway, uh, he knocks a glass on Frank and then runs off. And Frank's like, all right, I gotta clean that up in the bathroom. Well, he's there. He sees this guy come in who also just so happens to have a number glowing on his head. head. And then the walls start moving, and the the carpet monster's back. So the mirror jump got me for a second. I will say, like there was a mirror jump scare. Was yeah. it? Yeah, it, it's it's quick. Like I yeah, like that got me for a second. Then I'm like, oh yeah, the graphics are shitty. <laughs> <laughs> That's what scared you. <laughs> like oh, that shouldn't look like that. <laughs> yeah, this, this grim reaper looking thing comes out of the mirror. 
uh, grabs his dude heart, squeezes until he dies, and like this bright light from the heavens starts glowing down upon him in this tube. And uh, Frank just kind of like watches this happen, doesn't seem to do anything about it. But no, Frank's kind of shitty. Oh yeah. Oh, he's definitely shitty. But like, what's he gonna do about it? Call for help. Yeah, give him CPR. Who knows? Something. Try and do something. I mean, he watched the guy's soul leave. True. He's watching it currently leave, but we see throughout the rest of this movie, that is not the end point. You can bring it back. It seems to flip-flop, to yeah, be honest this, with you. Well, this is where I, some more of my problems come into it, where it's just the rules of the road, as it were. Like the, There's no... <laughs> no, what? no, but um, the rules of uh, how this stuff functions is just fucking bananas. It's, there's no consistency to it. Um, Whatever. You know what else is bananas? What? How far away those fudge cookies are from me. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. So yeah, like this dude fucking dies in front of him. He doesn't go call for help, doesn't call 911. <laughs> he just he runs out of the restaurant. He runs yep. out, like, out of the Completely into his car and just speeds off. <laughs> yeah, he's, like, he's trying to chase that carpet monster. Which I, I understand he's trying to chase it, but like, no. He <laughs> say someone call an ambulance. It sounds like, so dirty when you say it like that. <laughs> hey, man, what are you doing tonight? You want to hang out? No, no man. I'm chasing the carpet monster. <laughs> <though>. <laughs> wow. But yeah, like yeah, he could say something before taking off and things like that. But let someone know there's a body in the I'm bathroom. Saying, like, uh, I'm, I don't think he even says anything to Lucy. No, he, he just runs, runs out. out. He just runs out. Gone. Just dine and dash. Yeah. Which, oh, that's why. <laughs> oh, <is> that <laughs> he side me. Oh. <laughs> <Rip more. laughs> so. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm a hot mess today. Full disclosure, I ripped, ripped my pants today before the podcast. So, like, <laughs> from, like, taint to, to belt, my ass is out. Like, look at my ass is chaps right now. Like, it's, it's, it's bad. So, gentlemen, if you'd like to stop by. Really tell me. All right. Brian's looking for a carpet monster of his own. <laughs> so, anyway, he goes chasing this thing. Uh, the police show up. To talk to Lucy, because apparently she's somehow involved in this guy dying in the bathroom. I mean, I, I don't know. Yeah. The cops in the town are weird. And they're about to get weirder, because we bring in... Uh, I, I forgot this guy's name. Obvious Domer? pedophile. The obvious pedophile. He... Uh, Milton. Is it Milton? Milton no. Dammers. Dammers. Yeah, that's it. Uh, he is... If you took Christoph Waltz from Inglorious Bastards... And added like sixty percent more pedophile. That's this guy. No, what, what was your description? It was a uh, Christian Glover and uh, who was it? Uh, I forgot. I forget too. I was in the moment. This, this, this is not helping. But um, he's a creepy. D- he kind of looks like he's got this like Adolf Hitler thing going on. But he's also yeah, a little Crispin Glover, and he's just he's just fucking weird. He's like hiding from this girl because he he can't talk to girls or something, and he's just being super bizarre. But he comes flying in with a, like, oh, here's a bunch of exposition that you guys don't have yet, and Michael J. Fox supposedly uh, can see dead people because he got into a car accident a long time ago. The whole thing is like. That's when he was in the car with his wife. They were arguing about something. Uh, her body was fa- found far away from the car. She had a number carved in his forehead. He's missing a knife and claims to have no recollection of anything that happened. And yada, yada, yada. Basically, he thinks that Michael J. Fox's character, Frank, has been killing all these people or has something to do with it. Mm-hmm. All these people who, who've, been, who've been, been, been killed since the day his wife died. Hey, yeah. And he's been using this I can see dead people thing as a means to kind of ease his conscience. Like, oh, it's a ghost doing it. It's not me. And he thinks it's like some like multiple personality. Yeah, kind he, of thing. he thinks that he honestly believes that it's a ghost, but he believes that he is the ghost or like some other personality of his is the ghost somehow. It's, it's craziness. I use the same uh, method to ease my consciousness. When I buy when I buy rip off tagalongs from Walmart, <laughs> <laughs> eating ta- I have not eaten Taco Bell. I know in 
months. She, uh, uh, Bobbert has, not Rob. Bobbert? <laughs> yeah, yeah, my ghost. <laughs> yeah. The ghost that lives with me? No. No. The ghost that just uh, had an exorcism out your butthole. <laughs> but anyway. No, he eats DiGiorno. No, um, oh, Chocolate Starfish. God. He's the one who eats, eats Taco Bell. <laughs> I thought Chocolate Starfish was the enemy of Taco Bell. <laughs> or vice versa, at least. Well, Taco Bell is the sponsor of Chocolate Starfish. <laughs> hell, they're never going to sponsor this now. So anyway, uh, where the hell are we? Oh, so, yeah, he... he you know what, Taco off. Bell? You can sponsor us when you can give me a chalupa that's not cold, okay? Ooh, shots fired. Damn. There you go. <laughs> so... Frank is chasing after this thing. He finds it goes to the, this local museum. Apparently, this dude had just died there. So, I guess this carpet monster creature got there before him. Yeah, it moves quickly. Yeah. Um, it's already killed somebody, and it's got a number on somebody else. Yeah, so the woman who who outed him as a, a charlatan has a number on her head now. And he's like, he's like, whoa, you're next. Whoa. She's like, fucking threatening me? What the fuck? Yeah. Like, yeah. fuck you, dude. Like. I want to die. He's threatening me. He's threatening me. So what do the cops do in this situation? Do they calm everybody down and say, hey, all right, you two come here. Let's let's figure this out. Um, of course not. They, they escalate. <laughs> they immediately draw their weapons? They immediately pull their yeah. guns out. In a crowded <laughs> museum? Yes. And start firing wildly? Uh, yes, that's what happens. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that one wasn't quite as immediate, but yeah, it does happen pretty fast. Well, because... Um, the the ghost guy is about to kill her when the judge shows up like Wally like like Yosemite Sam like pew 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 so I still got it he's like pew pew I'm not incontinent I mean or, or impotent whatever pew 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 I'm no longer firing blanks I believe yeah, the line yeah. and to prove his um, point even more after he shoots this ghost up he looks at um a uh, a uh, uh, sarcophagus and he's like oh she got good good teeth and starts to hump it like. He legit jumps in the, in the sarcophagus, and it shows his ass going in and out, like, humping his fucking... Mummy. Fucking mummy, like, legitimately. Yeah. And I was like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm pre- you know what? This is, like, the scene from the movie that I remember most, because I'm pretty really? sure this scene was in commercials or previews or something. Not that part, really? I don't think. Maybe him saying, you know, I'm not called the hanging judge for nothing, but... Uh... Oh, he says... <laughs> 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 he says that first, yeah. then jumps in the sarcophagus and starts helping it. <laughs> the part that threw me is shortly after that to distract the cops, which again, like also this leads to how do more people not, you know, believe what he's saying? Right. Is this other mummy starts like coming off the wall and like moving forward and whatever. It's the, the two ghosts that are his buddies are moving this around. But it makes me say, like, was that... The mummy that should have been the sarcophagus? Is there anything actually in that sarcophagus? Uh, we don't know. <laughs> or is he just humping the sarcophagus? <laughs> we don't know. It doesn't doesn't really matter. Like, yeah. I mean, when you're in the zone, does it matter? <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. I mean, I've seen a dog hump itself. Like, once you get going, just, just keep going. Like. What? Yo, I'm serious. <laughs> you, never mind. All right. Yeah, but, so my sister had this dog, a little, little swallow, who figured out if it contorts its body just the right way, it can rub itself with its dick. And so it would hump itself, like, he'd be walk, <laughs> walking around, just, like, rubbing the dick against his chest, and, like, it would get off, and then want to jump on your lap. I'm not <laughs> joking. I'm not joking. It was I, the grossest thing. First of all, that's not humping yourself. That's masturbation. That's not the same. Well, it's hump, he's humping his own chest. Like, I guess. He's not hands. It's, like, it's, not, it's, not, <laughs> it's not the dog. Like. Well, yeah, I get that. Yeah. <laughs> so, but he would... He wanted to picked up and jump on your lap and right afterwards. Of course. It's the grossest shit. <laughs> it was so fucking gross. So he just finished off. Now he wants to cuddle. Yeah. What a fucking gross dog. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> What's going on there, Rob? He's like, I'm out. I'm out. You guys got this. All right. I'm just so, having a cookie. Uh, there's another whole car chase going on while he's trying to chase down this carpet monster. Uh, eventually, the, like he he loses it. I think he, he crashes his car again. Well, he, he, with punched, he punches uh, this woman, woman with the, with the number on her forehead. Punches okay. her, and kidnaps her. Right. Cops chase them. He's not the best driver. He can't stay in the lines that well. So like he goes over the lines, over a cliff, 
Right. So the, the same spot, same spot where uh, where where his his car crashed and his wife died. Why can't he stay in the line, Brian? He's easily excitable. So it's, he. He's also being choked out by a uh, a scythe at this point. I'm saying, yeah, like he's seeing ghosts. He's just been shot at. He's trying to escape death itself, like we all are. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> That's true. Give me another cookie. <laughs> Where you at, Go Puff? <laughs> Even better if you show up dressed like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Oh my god. Perfect. That would be amazing. Give me a s'more. <laughs> I would rub it all over my body and just go, I love this town. <laughs> Leave your kinks at home. <laughs> and then the person that delivers would just be like, you just please pay me. <laughs> I can go. <laughs> I'm tired of everyone doing that. <laughs> please just give me my money so I can go home. You fat ass. Um, you people are gross. So yeah. All of you. So Michael J. Fox and this reporter are driving down the same road he was on when he crashed and his wife died. Mm-hmm. And he crashes again. Yep, same spot. Totally rolls his car off the road. Uh, reporter lady's getting out, and all of a sudden, oh, here's the specter of death. Yep. And it kills her ass. And he's just like, let me, let me just hang out over the dead body. <laughs> let me take it. I'm gonna take out the Grim Reaper by doing a flying body tackle onto the dead body because that's gonna end well. Um, it does, even that doesn't really lead to a whole hell of a lot because nope. he just gets up. It's just like punching a jar of mayonnaise. Like the, <laughs> the worst part is, is like people it kills don't leave the bodies fast to see that like what killed them. No. So she thinks that he just killed her. So she went to her grave like thinking this guy threatened to kill her and then killed her. Yeah. Yep. Um. But anyway, uh, the the cops are like you know, oh we gotta we gotta put out posters for this guy. How are we gonna find him? Uh, Dammers is like, he's resourceful, he's gonna be miles away by now, you'll never find him, yada yada. But he just turns himself in. He just shows up and he's like, hey, yeah, my car's down on that side of the road, this lady's dead by it, I need you guys to go handle that. And they, they arrest him. Uh, Lucy's there as well, cause she just, she just hangs out there for most of the time, I guess. From, from about the restaurant on to now. Well, I believe she was being questioned or something, yeah. or held... Yeah, but um, yeah, she's like, "Oh, you didn't do this." He's like, "Hey, you know I didn't. You don't you, know you me. Don't, you don't know shit. Go away. You don't know me. <laughs> um, you know what I'm about? I'm about that life." So they they arrest him I'm from the streets. <laughs> <laughs> uh she takes off. She goes and like investigates his house. Or, yeah, she goes full stalker mode. Yeah, what is left of his house. Uh, and Ray's following her. Her, her husband's a ghost. Yeah. Uh, she also then goes over to the old uh, mansion she was at before for some reason. Well, while she's there, the mother from of, of the uh, Patricia's mother calls right. and says, like, Patricia's been, been consorting with, with the demons from the other side. You know, come help me banish the demons. Come help. Come yeah. help me banish them. And so... Lucy's like, oh, the house is more important than I thought. Yeah. Yeah, they might need my help. She goes over there. And Ray follows her again. Yeah. yeah. And this is when he sees the house with his ghost vision. Right. And he sees that it's like coated in chocolate and melting. Yeah, sort of. It looks like the the cape that's on this, this ghost is like over the house, too. Like, it's Luigi's mansion. <laughs> <laughs> it's his haunted mansion. And it makes kind of like a woo thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a spooky house. And he freaks out for a moment. Uh, but he, he goes in there anyway. Uh, she has a run in. No, he waits. He doesn't go inside. He doesn't go inside here? Oh, no. He goes inside. As she leaves, he goes in the front door. Right. She was in there for a mad long time. Before he finally went in there. He left he let her ass go in there by herself. Yeah, because he's brave. But uh yeah, we have some kind of interaction with uh Patty and she she gets she goes up into the mother's room at one point, finds Frank's missing knife. Uh she gets back out the front door, takes off, because that's she now knows about the knife or whatever. Uh heads back to the police department to try and talk to Frank. Uh, and when he when she's there 
She gets in because she's the doctor. Uh, when she's there, he sees that she has... <laughs> How does that work? I'm a doctor. Let me in to see the <laughs> the serial killer. Yeah, like... The, the, <laughs> was, she was a, a shrink. Maybe. Yeah, that would make sense, at least a little. Yeah. Mm. But, um, what, whatever, I don't know. I guess um, we don't really know what do- her doctor is in, so whatever. Yeah. No, it's, it's in medicine, cause, uh, because she was there to patch up to, you know... Well, it doesn't mean that's her only doctorate. I mean, she her. can say all kinds yeah. of things. Yeah, she was filling in for somebody that day, so whatever. Um, somehow she gets in there. Uh, Frank sees that she has a number on her forehead, and the, the, the Reaper thing is coming to get her. Uh, her two ghost buddies... Come flying around and they're they're fighting this thing off and I think we kind of skipped over this but I believe uh, at this point Ray already actually dies when when Ray finally goes in the house to yeah. to to help her yeah this Reaper Min- thing the minute he walks in yeah. he goes go outside she can't see him of course he turns around and he's immediately killed like, <laughs> like his ghost is killed it's like yeah, yeah. his face final is death off, I guess and his, his carcass is thrown on top of her car. Yeah, which she can't see any of that, right. so whatever. Um, How long was it there for, I wonder? Uh, good question. I don't know, but like it's when they die, I around. guess they turn into like deflated balloons or something. Yeah. Sort of. It sucks their soul out, I guess. It sucks their, their essence out. Uh, but uh, so anyway, um, these two other guys, they're, they're fighting off this thing. They're trying to hold them back, but uh, they're kind of getting their asses kicked. Uh, he, you know... Does some little maneuver so they can escape. Like, she calls the guard over, he gets the door open, yada yada. We're running out. Uh, he says that he needs to try and deal with this thing the only way he knows how, which is to become a spirit himself. And he's... You went to number on her head now? Yeah. Uh, and he's ready to just shoot himself in the head. He was, he was gonna do it, too. Yeah. And she's like, no, I got a better idea. I'm gonna throw you in... This... I'm a medical doctor. Yeah. Let me put you under. <laughs> sure. Because I know how to safely do this. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to freeze you in my, you know, at my local KFC or something. I don't know what the fuck this thing was. They're in the hospital. Why? All right. Um, but uh, she throws him in there. He's freezing to death. His spirit leaves. She needs to revive him by a certain point to make him sure he's okay. But uh, Dammer shows up. He kidnaps her, throws her in the back of a squad car, and they take off. That's so enthused. <laughs> <laughs> There's just so much happening, and a lot of it is just kind of whatever. Well, like, at this point, she's, like, I guess caught feelings or something. Like, she's she's more interested in him than than, 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 she, than she was before, like. Oh, yeah, she's all in at this yeah. point. Um, For some reason. So, like, she's, like, super, hey, let's go get back to him. Let's get back to him. Let's fucking revive him. And uh, the, the, the FBI agent guy takes her, like, away. He's, like. I'll go back in 11 hours. Meantime, I'll be handcuffed in the cemetery because I'm creepy as fuck. <laughs> so I can show you my tits. Like, yeah. legit. Or like, whatever. So he goes, this whole exhibition about his his backstory, how he's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> his body is a uh, road map. A wonderland. Yeah. I thought, I thought it was going to be, be like Hell, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, Hellraiser or whatever. Cenobites were going to come out at night. <laughs> Mm. Which would change the movie quite a bit, actually. Cenobites. Ah. Or what, uh, scanners, and he's just got, you know, the chest vagina. Or well, that's, that's what he was trying to do, though. So, like, he's got her in this graveyard, and he's telling her, or he told her at some point about all these, or he told, maybe it was Michael J. Fox. He told somebody about all the experiments with goats mm. and things where the government was trying to, you know, find a way to train people to kill goats with their minds. Yes. And so that's Men what he's stare at goats. Yeah, is that on the list? <sighs> no. Good. <laughs> so he's trying to do that now. Like he's trying to use the force to like move the car or do whatever. Hold on. I, I just want to touch on on his exposition though a little bit because it's fucked. Up. Yeah, we'll get it. Yeah, go into his backstory, please. So, so like he has a swastika on the palm of his hand, right? He's like, I I, I knew Charlie. I, I hung out with him in this cult. I was a sex slave. For six months, <laughs> for six months, they did things to me, but, but I had to be undercover, so I had to go along with it, and so basically, he's an FBI agent, and he go, go, go deep cover to, like, infiltrate cults, and, like, he was doing everything, so that one was the Charles, Charles Manson, mm. there was one where, um, what was the other one that had, uh... Children of Satan? Yeah, Children of Satan, they, they worship Satan, so he was, like, their sex slave for, like, <laughs> so many months. And there was another one that was, was carving his body up. Like, he, he's Animals. like, no, they never broke me. Not once was I broken. 
<laughs> it's like, whatever, dude, you're fucked up. Your head is gone. Also, like, we don't specifically mention it, but I'm sure this relates to the fact that he has to use, like, one of those little donuts to sit on when he gets in the yes. car. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I never connected it to yeah. until now? Oh, my God. Yeah, it didn't. The, the first couple times I saw it, that didn't really occur to me until just uh, when we're watching I'm just like, uh, okay, yeah. yeah, I get it now. Yeah. Every time he poops, a little <laughs> semen comes out. No. <laughs> Why? Why, Rob? <laughs> so, um... Because I'm not going to make fun of Michael J. Fox, that's why. Yeah, this, is all, this is all going nowhere. It's been very good so far. <laughs> yeah, I haven't had to be bad. You've been taking up the slack, no problem. I haven't said nothing. Like, yeah, I also know. Also, quick side note. You've eaten a lot of Doritos, though. You're loud. <laughs> <laughs> it's the garden. Viciously. That's what turns Lucy around a bit. She sees the garden that he put in that oh, tiny yeah, little basketball right. court. She's you're like, right. "This guy's sensitive. Because I because, can do something." No, it's a good it was because um because her husband wouldn't have wouldn't have put the garden up. Mm. And he and then he shows up and says like, "Perfectly good basketball court. Let it go to shit." Like, yeah. yeah. Well, plus, dude was a douche in the first place, Ray. Yeah. And I think she was just looking for an excuse anyway. Yeah. Well, she definitely, yeah, was just looking for an excuse to get away from him, but, like, why she's suddenly, like, all over Michael J. Fox. Any port in a storm, Frank, man. Sorry, Any port in a storm. For some, I'm sure. All right. Um, if you're unhappy, just leave. Just leave if you're unhappy. So. Don't wait for him to die. <laughs> just leave. Just leave. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, yeah, Frank shows up. He starts moving the car. Uh, we get attacked by the Reaper again. He lets Lucy escape. Um, she gets in the car, she's driving back to go try and revive him. He gets into a big fight with the Reaper in the graveyard, which sadly... As a ghost. Yeah, he is still a ghost. Uh, sadly, Arlie Ermy, who's been showing up multiple times, uh, like, he just gets his ass handed to him. Yeah, like, I hoped he would have been badass and stuff, but like... Yeah, like, I didn't even remember the movie that well, so I thought at this point, like, all the people in the graveyard showed up and, like, helped to fight off... You would think. This you would thing? think, yeah. Like, that would make sense. Like, oh, now uh, Michael J. Fox is, like, one of us. We're still mad at him, but, like, we know this guy. Who's this other jerk? Yeah, plus the whole, you know, like, he killed them all and gave them numbers. So, like, he built up their numbers. That was what he was so excited about. So now you got that many number of people that are pissed at you and ready to kick your butt. Right. But damn, Peter Jackson just can't let a movie end. So. <laughs> yep. How long was the movie? It was only two hours, I think. It, it felt like four hours long. And we watched the director's cut. Yeah, th this was not bad for a Peter Jackson movie, but it still probably could have ended like half hour earlier. No, like the first 40 minutes of the movie felt like an hour and a half. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'll see. For me, it wasn't so much the beginning, it was the end. It was just like, like that's a good place to end it. Oh, no, we're still going. Okay, that's a good place to end it. <laughs> no. Well, that was, that was my thing. Like, I... Here in the graveyard, like that's go a good place to end it. Tom Bombadil. Everybody Tom gathers Bombadil. together, takes out this yeah. Reaper monster. She goes and rescues Michael J. Fox. Movie ends. Yeah. Like, but we do find out here it's not just a Reaper monster because Michael J. Fox, uh, Frank, rather gets upper hand on this thing. He's beating it around, turns the mud monster into more mud. Starts smacking its face against the wall to make a pizza or something. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> and it turns out to be a donkey in a bathrobe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he used the guns from, uh, uh, what's what's the dude's name? Early whatever? Early Army. Yeah, to use his guns I think to, I'm saying that right. to shoot, to shoot sure. the ghost up into pieces. Yeah. Smithereens, if you say. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we find out it's Jake Busey or uh, Charles Bartlett, the, the killer from before. He's still been killing people from the other side. If you haven't already figured it out, because like, yeah, he's he's making his, his number pull higher. Yeah. And he's, like, the only other person that's been talked about in this movie. Yeah. yeah. And hasn't shown up yet. And you're like, oh, I wonder when that's coming back. Hmm. But, yeah, so sure enough, that's him. Uh, he looks like, you know, like we said, looks like he's done, but he kind of just kind of drips through this crypt and reforms himself. This is where I think you get some of the worst of the CGI, because it's yeah. now Frank Ghost fighting it's Blood like Ghost. One more man in that in that yeah. other other dimension. He's, <laughs> he's, he's having sex with that, that woman. Yeah, I and mean, Michael J. Fox are going to form a dragonfly or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dragonfly with big, huge teeth. <laughs> oh. I know what you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
mow your lawn. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Lawnmower man ch- chasing carpet monsters. That does sound terrible. So, anyway... Uh yeah, the, he's he's fighting this thing again. It uh he's about to, he's about to kill, kill it. it. He he's grabs the scythe. He's about yeah. to like cut him in half. Yeah. He's, he's he, he he's won. Like, but uh, Lucy revives his body, so he is pulled back into his physical form. Peter Jackson was like, "No, it can't end here. <laughs> we still got an hour to go. Do some more walking. <laughs> I bought all this film. <laughs> so um, he's like, oh." Lucy, I didn't quite get there. I didn't do the job. It's Bartlett. He's back. You gotta go. You gotta go save Patty. Go help her out. So Lucy runs off yet again. Uh, I, I don't get this part because because she still has a number on her fucking head. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's still after her. Mm-hmm. So why send her to where it is? I don't get that. I, I don't. Uh, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um. But whatever he does. Um, I'd be like, fuck Patty, you're still next. Well, fuck yeah. Patty. Like, <laughs> Stay with me until we're both better, and then we can go talk to Patty. Yeah. But instead, I'm going to send you into the mouth of the lion and fend for yourself, basically. Um, so she goes, she's talking to Patty. She's like, I really got to get you out of here. Um, you can't stay with your crazy mother and being like, I have this daunted figure of your dead father's ashes looming over you and whatever. Uh, so we need to get out of here. And she's like, oh, let me go talk to my mother. See if she'll let me leave. And she goes upstairs for a few minutes while Lucy just kind of hangs out. Yeah. Which also doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But, uh, then she comes back and she's like, oh yeah, mother's okay with it. We can go and whatever and blah, blah, blah. And Lucy's like, all right, cool. We can leave. Why are you acting weird? And we find out that, uh, Patty, in fact, is still talking to... She's fucking his ghost. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 fucking his ghost. Like, for they've, real. <laughs> they've been making many a pottery together. <laughs> like, for real. It literally has its hands all over and in her. Like... <laughs> it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> it's oh boy. Yeah, like it, it's oh. It's a lot easier to find the man in the boat that way. Oh, oh man. So yeah, so I guess like she can she can see uh uh Bartlett's ghost, and he's like he's like uh can I kill her? No, uh he's like, I want you to kill her, kill her, yeah, kill her. Be, you know. Just, it's like an art form for you, like just kill her, kill her. Which this is also weird because, like, he says, you know, I want to kill her now, and she's like, yes, and like, can I kill her now? Like, yes, like, fucking do so it. So you gonna kill her? And then he's just like, you kill her. I'm like, all right, fine. We're we're now we're progressing the movie. I wonder if, if because he's not in that like demon like death form, if he can't grab hearts anymore. Maybe. Like could be but. It, nothing like that is explained. Like what that scythe was, yeah. like where it came from. Well, yeah, this it, is what it was like. Like also the whole thing. We, I, I believe we get the impression that uh, Frank earlier grabbed the guns from Arlie Army's ghost and was able to shoot him. Yeah, but so we know why? those guns work, but we don't know why. But we also don't know how or why, because like we see Arlie Army, he's like a sergeant. And then at one point he turns himself into riot gear when Frank tries to punch him, and that actually hurts. And then he turns himself into a boxer and actually gives him a good punch. And then he has the guns that just appear out of no like what he can just do whatever the fuck he wants, apparently. Well, um he says he's a he's a legit spirit and, and not an apparition, the way the the other his other guys are. But uh, look, he, he says it in the graveyard. He's like he's like he's like, I'm I'm not an apparition, I'm a I'm a legit spirit. Like I can do do, do shit you guys can't. He says, oh, in, okay. in graveyard, yeah. yeah, so he's like, like, what, what the fuck while, does that mean, though? So, <laughs> while those, the new, like, Ray is like, he's a soul waiting to pass to the other side. Arlie Army is like a full landlocked ghost. <laughs> like, okay. he's like a, he is a haunting. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, that doesn't, like, make a whole lot of sense, but sure. Listen, you'll have to check Tobin's spirit guide. I don't know. Yeah. Well, because, um, because, Although, uh, um, uh, Michael okay. Fox character says he's explaining to Ray like you know in a year from now the, the the light will come again. Yeah, it'll be your chance to go on. If you don't go on, then you'll become full, a full fledged full spirit and you'll be be, be caught in, in this world. Um, he says when, he, when him and Ray are talking, yeah, when Ray first dies. So, so, but he, then he said, are, right, right, right now you're an you're an apparition. So why aren't more of those ghosts in the graveyard strong? Whatever. Yeah. Uh, 
And actually, this that does make a bit more sense because I was reading there was supposed to be a whole part about a guardian, uh, like guardian angel at this graveyard, mm. but they kind of cut that and gave some of that to Arlie Army. So I'm guessing that's where the, some of that comes in. Maybe because yeah, he did say he had an 80 year tour of duty left. He there, did. So yeah. yeah. But it's just so ill-defined. And all those other apparitions may have been there because they were all killed by that dude, so maybe they had unfinished business. So once their business was taken care of, they could cross. But it doesn't explain yeah, any of it. Are adding way, we are adding way more to the story yeah, like, the story does. Yeah. Um, the book's still over there. Like. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you're wondering how they eat and breathe. Anyway. And other science facts. Yes. Uh, so, yeah. We now know Patty's in on this whole business. Yeah, she's um, fucking nuts. She is nuts. And we find out uh, her urn that she had with her father's ashes is actually Charles' ashes, uh, Charles Bartlett. Mm-hmm. So we, we need to get those to consecrated grounds to try and get rid of them. <sighs> so now we're off to another abandoned location. Dude, old... how is there not just a church in town? I'm saying. Like a block away. Why you gotta go to an abandoned hospital to get to a chapel in an abandoned hospital? For that matter, why don't you go to the not abandoned hospital? Where did we he see one? Where did he get this? Although, okay, granted, it may have just been water, but earlier in the movie, he's got a water pistol that he says is full of holy water. Yeah, that was, it was just water. It probably was, was just water. Just, yeah, was yeah, water. yeah, that is probably just water. In, in his five years being the MC goes, he's not figured out how to actually hurt one. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You're not wrong. <laughs> Holy water probably wouldn't work anyway, but... What do you mean like, not, it had to figure out how to hurt one? Bug spray melts their face! Does that hurt? For like a second. A second. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. actually hurt one. That's so, fair. yeah, I, I, my, my point stands. There's like a church every other block, any town you go to. Why do they have to go to abandoned hospital? Maybe there wasn't one there, and that's why you, it was a town that breeds serial killers. <sighs> no, someone was doing funerals. It was a graveyard. Oh, that means there was a church in town somewhere, but... Yeah, but it's right there. Like, they go to the anyway. cemetery, like, every other day in this movie. They must have, like... Yeah, yeah. I don't know. So I frustrating. Know. So stupid. It doesn't stupid. make sense. Yeah. I think just because this is where it started, this is where it needs to end. And so we can run through the abandoned hospital where all this started, so we can get all the flashbacks to, you know... It's happened uh, for no reason. Yeah, no Bartlett reason. No being reason. there and killing people. Just to show you... I mean, it's it's kind of interesting, but yeah, it doesn't really yeah. make sense, because we already... We already knew the story, so you're just showing it again. Is this a show that she's just as crazy as he is? That's so really... she does have to kill him with, with him. Yeah. And while and while while the flashback she's killing people in, in the current time, it's her trying to shoot Michael J. Fox and right. Lucy. Yeah. So Michael J. Fox and Lucy are now at this abandoned place. Joker and Harley Quinn are also here. They're running around doing their thing. Mm. And Pedo Bear is also sneaking around somewhere. So <laughs> it's this whole big culmination of nonsense. Yeah. Um, it's just crazy. They're running around. They're trying to find the chapel. Trying to get there. Um, married. How big is this stupid hospital? <laughs> I don't know. Four floors at least. Yeah. Um, yeah, he finally gets the chapel, but he drops the urn. It's caught by Pedo Bear, who's like, hey, guess what? I got an Uzi for reasons. <laughs> And shoots the shit out of his well, arm. He doesn't even worse. He's like, he's like, I get to look at the urn. Let me guess. You have to, you have to put this in the chapel to, to, to cleanse the spirit so you stop all this madness, right? Oh, I just dumped it out. Oops, fuck you. I have an Uzi. And it's just shooting up. Yeah. Like, yeah. Because the movie can't just end. No, <laughs> like just can end. Yeah. But, uh, so, yeah, so um, Bartlett's loose again. He's doing things. Uh, eventually, he notices that uh, uh, Jammers and... Um, Patty are kind of like both squaring off of them with uh, with guns. So he just kind of like, oh, well, I can fall through the floor here, and let the she just shoots the shit out of him. Shoots, shoots, uh, blows his face head, off, head right off. Yep. To like where his head is replaced by a spirit head. Yes. Like a cartoon. Yes. yes. But at this point, which also quick side note, um, cartoon like like Who Framed Roger Rabbit when the when the weasels <laughs> die, like it's just, it's just like that. <laughs> He even had a harp. Here's, now here's the weird shit, because I don't get the rating system. Because what I read was originally he was going to get shot in the chest, uh-huh. but the ratings board had already deemed whatever was going on in this movie so far earned it an R rating. Was this rated R? This was rated R. You know what it was? The humping in the casket. Probably. 
I guess, but like that. I, really? love, I, I don't know if that was it, but that's what I'm saying. I'm know. thinking it's probably more like violent related stuff, like the melting face. But like again, it's no. melting like a cartoon. It was. It was that tiny second of frames where you actually see uh, Patricia's mom in the covered bed, in covered in blood. That might, that might be. be it. It's probably all they did. It. But yeah, because of that, they were just like, "Well, fuck it, we're getting an arm. Let's go for an arm." Blew up his head. <laughs> so. Yeah, but there, was, there wasn't even any blood. It wasn't. Hmm? It was just poop. His was, head's gone. Yeah, okay. There's a cartoon there now. Yep, whatever. And then this idiot, Michael J. Fox, falls mm. through four floors and is just fine. After being shot with an Uzi. And frozen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was frozen today, Doc. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. Think about that. I was waiting for somebody to do it. So, <sighs> what was that? So yeah, so Lucy shows Jammers up. is now dead. Yeah, and Lucy's like, "Well, fuck, I gotta go get that. I don't know. I gotta go stop them." So she goes running off. They're like all together in the basement now. Let's just or not Lucy. Let's just wrap it up. Let's yeah, wrap it up. They go to the basement. Um, I don't even know. Uh, like Patty's about to shoot Frank, and uh, Bartlett's got Lucy. Uh, she cold cocks Frank in the face. He's just dying because. Fucking, he fell four floors and died twice already. Uh, she, and she, she chokes him out. She chokes him she out. She chokes him out with, with a shotgun. Okay. Yeah. Throws him she's, aside. Because she's out of bullets. Yeah. Right. Um, and so, yeah, she's coming back to try and deal with Lucy when his ghost shows up again. Just, like, grabs her and pulls her ghost out. He rips her spirit out of her body. Like, holy shit. <laughs> yeah. So I guess he learned a little bit. But, <laughs> yes. Holy like, shit. I don't know. I, there was no or precedent just, for that. Yeah, just Maybe, sure cause, cause will and determination. Like his his tube of light was coming down from 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 from, from heaven, and she was in it with him. So maybe that gave him the strength to do it. Maybe I don't know. Maybe yeah. or since he can see spirits, maybe he could see her spirit her, in her maybe, body and maybe, like I don't get know. it. Something whatever. Because like, we know that he could touch spirits, right? Yeah, like he could physically interact with them. So maybe that's how something like that. But whatever. Whatever. But he, he rips her soul out of her body, and, and like they're flying the, the tube up to heaven. Yeah, Bartlett chases after them eventually. Can't leave his woman. So he's yeah. like, I'm coming, baby. I'm coming to get you. Um, finally, like, they they struggle. Bartlett gets her free, but he goes up to heaven. And they're like, ha ha, we're going back down. And he goes up, and he finds he's, he's in heaven. Then, like, the sphincter, <laughs> yeah. like, quickly envelops them. And then you're like... A- after a quick hentai. <laughs> yeah, no, like, like, no, I mean, like... You look and like you can tell like they're in an orifice now. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> like you can just tell. they're in a butthole. Yeah, they're in a butthole. Yes. And like and uh um uh what's the name? Stuart and uh and Cyrus show up, they're like, Whoa, stand back for a second, you don't want to be part of this. Nope. You don't want no part of this <laughs> Dewey Cox. You don't want no <laughs> <laughs> Well, like it does become a butthole, but it does yeah. like it, we have to do that hentai moment because we see all the walls have these little snake things come out. Yep. And they take time to show one of them go into Patty's mouth. Yeah, orifices. Yeah. Eyeballs. I mean, ears. Yeah, going into eyeballs, whatever, that's fine. Yeah. But like, right in her mouth. Just right in her mouth. Like Where does they come from? <laughs> and then, yeah, it pulls back to show it is just one giant anus worm, which just goes down, goes down the hell. into the fire. To the spawn hell. <laughs> it's still better than spawn. It is. Go yeah. back and watch Spawn. Yeah. It's still better than Spawn. Yeah, it's a little better. I haven't seen Spawn in a while. So. Let's oh, not... It's... Guys, what did we talk about? <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Re- remember Crocodile Dundee? Shit! <laughs> Let's not do this. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, so... Oh... I, I almost watched the uh, the uh, the cartoon is on, that, is on Amazon Prime. Remember? Yeah. The HBO one? Yeah, I almost, yeah. almost watched it the other day. Oh, this... Talks of it's all coming back soon. Yeah, yeah. Reboot of Spawn. Why? Does it make it better this I, time? I, hopefully, but I, I like the uh, the boasting point so far is like, I'm going to do a Spawn movie where Spawn doesn't talk at all. Like, that doesn't sound like Great. a better plan. Fantastic. Anyway, why don't you just chunk it in with the DC universe? <laughs> Might as well. Just save yourself some time. Um. Spawn DC? Or no, it's image. it's image. Image. So it's just a rip off of other comic companies. Which also, by the way, they're talking about doing the image verse or whatever. Oh, great! I can't wait for that Wildcats movie. Yep. And Fair young enough. bloods and all kinds of bloods. And I hope if I get invincible, I'm all right. I hope yeah, Disney buys out image and just shuts it down. 
<laughs> wow. Fires everyone. Wow. Yep. That's rough. I said it. But anyway, so... um, Yeah, please. Let's end this so, movie. So, uh, the Cyrus and, and uh, Stuart are like... They're in heaven now. They're in heaven. Like, you see uh, Frank's wife. She's like, oh, I missed you. But it's not your time yet. Get the fuck out. Get <laughs> out. Yeah. Go have fun. Go out, go out there and live a little bit. In other words, you can bang her. Yeah, Wait, go, yeah. go hump that pale girl, Which I life? guess. So, fast forward, like, hit, hit the ground... Here's your hall pass. Yeah, yeah, fast forward. Now him and, and, and Lucy are together. And I'm like, yo, you just saw your wife. You know she's waiting for you. Yep. Like I also was thinking, sorry, what? No, you, okay. But she like, said it's okay. I guess so. Yeah, she yeah. said it's, it's okay. The thing that three, threw me off is they're like, oh, by the way, yeah, it's not your time. Like, this is the second time he's died today. He's, he's bleeding out. He fell for a story. It's his time. He's got a concussion and shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's for sure his time. All right. Yeah. He got into a car accident earlier. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, it's supposedly it's not his time. They send him back. Uh, we. It was all an elaborate setup by Jigsaw. He just wanted him to really appreciate, appreciate life. life. Yeah. <laughs> you mean Kevin McAllister? <laughs> all right. So, um, we cut away to. It, it, we see uh, Frank's house. It's just getting demolished now. Start over. Yeah, he's starting over with Lucy. They're having a nice little picnic. The sheriff shows up to talk about possible book deal. Nothing and nothing and nothing. And yeah, nothing. whatever. We see Dammers is following the, the sheriff around and she's... He's a ghost. We see Lucy can see him, yeah. And then we just, that's it. Cut to uh, Don't Fear the Reaper and cut to black. And that's The Frighteners from 1996. Okay, so on RottenTomatoes.com, critics gave this a score of 62%. Audience gave this a score of 71%. There, it's their thoughts and appealings. <laughs> Opinions. I am doing great. All right, uh, what about you and yours, Rob? Uh, yeah, I'd probably be between 60 and 70, maybe. <laughs> um, I, I can't really recommend it. It, I mean, it's not bad, like... But there are so many better ghost movies to see. <laughs> like, watch Ghostbusters, man. Seriously. Don't watch this. This is way too long. It's way too convoluted. It's not funny. CGI is terrible. And it's just, I don't know. The whole time I was watching, I was just like, all right, let's, let's do this. <laughs> let's get on with this. <laughs> so no, it's, it's not a recommend for me. All right, Brian. I would like to recommend this movie, but you need to edit out like maybe an hour of content. <laughs> Um, and then retouch up the, the edging and the, on, on the, on the CGI and stuff and like take out the cartoony parts <laughs> and like, then I re- recommend it. But like, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Like I want, I want to like it more and more. I, I do. I want to like it more, but I, I just, today is not what I remembered when I saw it when I was 19. Like it's not, not what I remember. Yeah. Um, this is a tough one. Uh, I, I, part of me enjoys it. I, don't know, I I think it's fun. I think it's kind of it's fairly harmless, and the story's decent. But yeah, it goes on for far too long, and just the CGI does not hold up well at all. There are some practical effects too, which are nice, but uh, yeah, just not enough to really earn a recommendation. So I I won't say it's one you shouldn't see, but I can't say it's one you really should see. So the best way to describe it, we all watched it together, and it was silent. For the entire movie, that's true. We didn't joke. We didn't like. I think mostly because Rob was holding back terrible comments. It was just just oh, that's part silent. Of it. We didn't laugh. We didn't joke. It was just nothing. Like <laughs> I do remember thinking at one point when they were doing some of the more comedic shtick or whatever, just being like, and there was nothing. No, nothing. Nope. <laughs> so yeah, that's um. Joe, what do you think about it? What was that? Huh? You're not, you're not, Joe, you're on the other side, Joe. We can't hear you. You gotta like cross over so we can hear you. Yeah. Does anyone have a Ouija board? Whatever, yeah. Joe. Fine. All right. So I'm assuming um, that Joe sucks, but he's still gonna say no. So um, that's not recommends from us. We're gonna go with Ghostbusters yeah, instead. Because why not? Ghostbusters is a good choice. So that's what you should see instead. What else do we have for the people, Brian? It's that time to make that roll. D20 of fate time. It's Joe's role. He's on the other side, so we need him to uh, cross over real quick. Joe, manifest yourself. Joe, come join us. 
Hey, it's Joe. I'm calling on assignment from the other side to deliver my roll. Here it goes. Uh, it is a nine, whatever that is. I hope it's a good movie. I'll see you all soon once I figure out a way to cross back over. Bye-bye. Don't go towards the light. Don't, don't. Come back to us, Joe. Carolyn. <laughs> Carolyn. Leave that old ass lady over there. <laughs> Kick a little kid in the face. He's a fucking puppet. The fucking creepy ass clown puppet over there. Return to us. Alright, so either way, whether Joe comes back alive or undead or whatever's gonna happen, he rolled a nine. What is a nine, Rob? Well, guys, nine is 2008's Taken, starring Liam Neeson. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Okay. Alright. Eh, okay. <laughs> Why is Sarah so sad about that? Eh. Like, we'll talk about when we watch the movie. Yeah. Alright. All right. Okay. okay, okay, Well, yeah, that's, that's what we're, you know, we're here to do. The Liam Neeses? The Liam Neeses. So, you get, right. to, you get to work on my Irish accent. <laughs> Is it Irish? Good luck. Uh, so, what's, besides the terrible accent, what do you got for the people, He Rob? might be Scottish, actually. I might be being an ass. Uh, uh, I always being an ass, but like... Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, guys, we want to thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed the show, please check out our website at 4ampodcast.podbean.com. Please consider subscribing to the show. We have a new episode every week. Please help spread the word about the show by leaving a positive review on iTunes and liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter. You can find us both places at 4 a.m. Podcast. You can also check out our website again, 4 a.m. Podcast.podbean.com. You can check out our store. We got t-shirts. We got cool stuff there. We got archived episodes. If you want to hear our old stuff, not available on the old E I O iTunes, Google Play, Google Play, all those things. If you can't find episodes past fifty something, I don't know. Yeah, you can. Now, I think. Whatever yeah. episodes you can't find, you can find on Pod. You sure can. We got them all there, and you can sponsor an episode. Isn't that fun? You send us a little, little, little uh, walking around money, a little, uh, little keep the lights on kind of money, and we'll uh, you can tell us what movie you want us to watch. Help us raise the money to reincarnate Joe. Yeah, we'll have an episode dedicated just for you. If you'd like to contact us, you can reach us at the 4 a.m. podcast at gmail.com. Like, real talk, you don't want to sponsor an episode, but want to throw some, throw some cash, you know. That is also fine. Yeah, like we I do have a donate button there, I yeah. believe, as well. Yeah. You might need to build a homunculus for Joe to inhabit. A monkey for Joe to inhabit? Yes. <laughs> or you can just buy a shirt. Because you want to wear us. So like, so how, how many how many ounces of, of, of sulfur? How many ounces of earth? How many ounces for of... For Joe? Let me check it's my mostly box. sulfur. <laughs> Every time Joe walks into the room, it pretty much smells like somebody's been coloring Easter eggs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, like, so, like, like, I don't want to be a suit of armor, though. I'll do that. That's okay. cool. All right. All right, um, until then, uh, thank you for joining us. We hope you all join us next week for Taken. And until then, deuces. Later. Good night, everybody.